<laughs> Good evening and welcome to my little tea time. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday tea time, and that means it's story time. Oh, Yay! God. I, I, what we thought we'd do today is we we wanted to have little tea time moments every week, uh, where we literally sit and uh, we we have a cup of tea because I think there's a lot of people out there that sit on their own and um, don't get to chat and listen to crap basically so we thought we'd give you some crap whilst having some tea a tea time tuesday Woo-hoo! yeah so and that's why i've got no makeup on because i just came out of the bath yay i have the best ideas in the bath generally because it's the only place i get to think okay the only place you get to think or i don't know we won't go there because no. i'll probably get a punch in the face so the first episode the first day Today is our very first joint vlog, vlog, oh. and uh, we chose to talk about how we got together because we thought it would be a good introduction on us. Distance relationships can be tricky, and um, ours was short-lived, to be fair. But short-lived. It was a twelve and a half mile. It was a twelve and a half thousand mile. No, short-lived in terms of you being in <laughs> Australia and me being in the UK. Oh, right. You mean the long-distance part of the relationship? The long-distance was... part was short-lived. Yeah. <laughs> So that people have um, always met in pubs or bars or restaurants or well, at the bus station or in the public toilets or wherever it is that they want to meet. <laughs> and um, <laughs> when they meet each other for the first time in person, they've already met each other. Um, <laughs> so it's it's different now where we all meet um, mainly online, which is quite funny. But me Do you reckon people meet mainly online? I I'd, think people may, meet mainly online now, yeah. I don't know. Well, I reckon probably... Oh, make a wish. I reckon like a third of people meet online. Um, <laughs> I met Kelly whilst playing an online game. And we had some things in common. We had a chat and we ended up being good friends online for, again, a short while really. And um, it was going. Through, I was going through well, a tricky. We had like mutual friends. Didn't oh, we? we had mutual we, friends on. on we weren't on this, really so. like talking, talking like every day. Like I knew of him, but I didn't really no. talk to you. No, we didn't. What happened was, um, we I we decided that we wanted to meet each other because we really, really, really did get on online, and we thought to some degree that it wouldn't happen um, because we were so far away, and she was doing a degree, I was doing a degree, and it was just my life was all upside down because my whole lifestyle had changed being a dad and whatnot all of a sudden being a dad but not there and living on my own after never really living on my own so it was was weird and you were going through all of that custody issues already (laughs) so he had a lot on his plate didn't he really yeah it was busy but i'll go on to that another time as well (laughs) because i'm sure there's a lot of dads out there that might watch this or just in general that might be interested in, in how i managed that situation so I'll do some more videos on that perhaps, but we saved up a lot of money um, to meet up and it was decided that I was to go to Melbourne, Australia to meet Kelly for the first time in this in the flesh. Because? Um, do you remember why? Do you remember, do you remember the reasons why it was better that you came to me rather than I came to you? Because uh, I could be asked. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was because A, you had a break on uni. Um, yeah, that was it, yeah. I had you, to take a year a, out of uni because no, of... No, 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 no. You, you were on break from uni. You were on a school break, like a hiatus, like in between the summer and the winter. Anyway, so he was on a week off, but you also weren't allowed to see your kids at this point. No, So that's true. you were just hanging around, waiting for the moment to be ordained to see your kids so mm, we mm. thought well fuck it you may as well come to australia yeah that's true and get away and have some fun yeah that's true i remember not being on the plane and essentially shitting myself <laughs> um not only because i'd never gone around sort of above the the mark of two thousand one thousand miles away from home before but um mainly because i was taking multiple flights to a destination unknown to meet a person that i never met before um I'm terrifying. She was a lot taller than I thought when I first met her. <laughs> you were a lot thinner than I thought. Yeah, not now though. No, neither of us are. We're, we're huge. And, anyway, so I remember but being on the plane. for another tea time. Yeah, but... I remember eating a lot of food, drinking a lot of wine, 
put on the plane. Watching or? a lot of films, drinking a lot of wine, speaking to some of the staff on the plane about the story, and they were all gushy and oh my god, that's so cute, and drinking a lot of wine. And did I mention about the wine? <laughs> um, nerves were all over the place, and I remember coming into landing, and I kept going up the toilet, and I got told off by one of the stewardess steward stewards about. Do that? It's air steward. Air, now, it? air steward. Yeah. Sorry, guys. For that. And I kept getting up because I kept needing to worry because I was pissing myself, literally not laughing, but sh- you know. Um, so the wine helped, but it went through me like uh, water. I landed, and the air staff were really, really funny because they were just laughing at how nervous I was. And it was about two o'clock in the morning in Melbourne, and I remember getting off the plane and walking through customs and declaring that I had no food and. I remember watching Border Control on TV and I always thought to myself, <laughs> holy shit, what if they find something that's been stashed in my bag or what if they don't like... <laughs> yeah. What if they don't like the look of me? In his bag. What if one of them gets a rubber glove out? I don't know, all sorts of shit run through my head and I was uh, pretty uh, nervous. Yeah, but anyway, so... I and I gave him one direction too, so not, yeah. not, not the band. <laughs> but um, no. I've, I've had my fair share of uh, runs to Tullamarine, Melbourne International Airport. So I knew exactly where he was going to come out from in the arrivals lounge. And I said, right, as soon as you come out, go to the left. I will be to your left. I won't be standing in front because I don't know which one of the three big doors you're going to come out of. So go to the left. I will be standing at the end. And this twat comes out the door and goes fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, so I watched him go round. And then he yeah, looked, I still thought about that Australian guy. He, he was who cares, in my head. dude? But I was still thinking, is he serious? Am I in Sydney? <laughs> you walked around, and then you probably remembered. Oh shit, she's standing on the left. Because I went, because I had myself sat there all you know, nice at the end, you know, like hey. And then I saw you walk that way. I went, fuck. <laughs> had to get up, and I walked over there. And then you you saw me, and then you dropped all your shit on the floor. <laughs> It's the first time I ever saw you in the flesh, though. No, I know, but I just thought, oh, bloody hell, this is going to be my life now. A, a person that can't take direction, and B, is clumsy as shit. Mm. And I was right. Mm. Yeah. Because it's true. She assessed me quickly, and it's true. Yes, my psychological skills were in hyperdrive. So, at that point, we spent ten days together, and to be honest with you, I think it was probably ten of the best days that I've ever had. Oh, yeah, easy. Um, we got we loved our little naturally. place at the Knights Bridge. Knights Bridge Hotel. Knights Bridge Apartments in Australia. Yeah. They, they are literally the size of this cup. Yeah, I'm, si- <laughs> I'm six foot five and three hundred pounds. And I was the, laughing the, with him. The about... basin was probably about that big. <laughs> no, 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 not the basin. The fucking bath. Uh, the bath. Was that... <laughs> the bath was that big. The bath was that big. I could have fit my foot in. <laughs> I could have had a really good foot bath, but I ain't gonna have a full bath. Mm-mm. We were sitting in this hotel, yeah, and it was it was uh, basic, but it was we didn't really care, and it was self maintained. So we went out and bought shopping together and wine. And, but I was afraid to go to the toilet, and so was she. But we didn't discuss this. It just uh, kind of naturally progressed because I was nervous about going to the loo with her in the because room. Because the room is so Because the room tiny. was next door and there's a little cardboard door between each other. Uh-huh. While we were there, we actually experienced our first issue. Do you remember what our issue was when we were Your there? health? Yes. And what happened with my health? Um, she was diagnosed with CIM1, um, which is a pre-marker to cancer. Needless to say, I ended up meeting Kelly's mum and dad as well. Um, and I wanted to meet Kelly's mum and dad because... Yeah, but not under those circumstances. No, the reason why I wanted to personally was because she had a really bad experience with... I don't know if anyone's watched Catfish on, yeah. on MTV, but Catfish is where people go online and they try and fake who they are. To meet people random and then cause havoc, basically. I uh, had one of those. Going, yeah. so we did that, and it was kind of up and down, was, wasn't it? It was up and down with people, and that's fine because yeah. it's all worked itself out now. I mean, my mum and dad call you son, don't they? And mm. I sometimes think that they love you more than me. <laughs> well, in terms of our relationship, though, um, we've gone through a lot, and um, we fought through a lot of negativity. We thought fought through a lot of people saying no naysayers etc um <clears throat> and we also fought through a lot of financial problems and all oh. sorts of stuff in 2013 you know kelly moved over i got this little terraced house sorted out uh got a little job so i could start paying the rent for it and um we moved in and then it, we started living together and it was uh, just a natural sort of process it, um, basically from being online mm. nearly 24 hours a day with each other on skype then oh, we not had that long. 
you used to fall asleep on Skype and I used to fall asleep and you would never hang up even though I was asleep, you weirdo. You just used to stare at me sleeping, so don't say that you didn't because wow. you did. I've watched out for spiders in case. Yeah, yeah, right. So so then we had the ten days together and then I basically, well, we agreed that fuck it, um, I'll come over and live with you. So that was a bit daunting, mm. I have to say, to mm. just go... Because I remember actually going, oh, this is day 11. We've actually, this is the longest time we've actually spent together. Mm. <laughs> like for realsies. But since then, actually, since being together together, we've had one day apart, haven't we, in, <clears throat> in four and a half years. In summary, we met online and within a year, Go we were up. living to one an with one another and happy and despite our challenges. And, and we're married. The we, we got married last year. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Now we're married. I, I think the My chubby fingers. I think the big. If you don't see something through, and if you don't follow what you truly want to follow, regardless of the fact that there's a twelve thousand or thirteen thousand mile journey between some something and you, whether that's a person, a job, career, whatever it is, it's not impossible. It depends on how much you want to work for it. I agree. Let's do something fun. Let's do something fun. What do you mean? Right. Dear Louie, <laughs> with regards to our tea time today and what we're talking about. Tea time. I've got no more tea left. What was your... What made you the most anxious about... Oh, that's a good idea. What made you the most anxious about a long-distance relationship? Um... I think. Oh. Need a D on there. Well, you need a whip on yours. <laughs> what made me the most anxious? Um, everything was brand new and unknown, including you. Oh, okay. Ask me a question. Keep them short and succinct. What well. made you the most anxious? About you. About me. And a long distance right? Oh, easy. Um, the fact that I'd been been there before and I didn't want to upset myself and I don't want to upset people around me but it's really hard to know when something is right and yet you're fighting against it if you know what I mean does that make sense mm. so it was like this enigmatic thing so we were talking for so long in in the game sorry I'm gonna run now so <laughs> we were talking for so long in the game and then we said why don't we just Skype and I won't forget it because we just couldn't stop smiling at each other at all. Mm. And then that's when I knew, oh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. And I remember saying to you, like, what are you talking to me for? Because, like, look at you and then look at me. <laughs> so that's what I was, that's what I was nervous about. So, yeah. So if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed Tea Time, let us know because... And give us, uh, we've got some ideas for other tea times, don't we? But let us know what you want to yeah. know. We're just normal people being stupid. Um, we don't get out a lot. <laughs> Great, you would have been replacing that. We like to have a chat sometimes and we're a bit stupid. So if we actually go on YouTube sometimes and type in funniest comments on YouTube videos because they're really, really fucking funny. Yeah. So and, go and, for it. And we don't have loving names for each other either. Like I, he is the knobhead to me, aren't you? Yeah. And I'm what bitch face. Five head saying? or really angry Aussie. Thanks. It's a yeah. So look out for more videos and thank you for watching. Peace.